Two, one. All right, good morning team. Here we are. We're going to look at how you'd use just your laptop using the notebook software and not the actual smart board itself. We're going to look at just how you would use your laptop to make a screencast. Very simple. So first of all, let's just go to the, uh, you should see my, my screen there on your screen and there's my mouse darting around. First thing we do is we go to the uh, notebook program. We open that and we wait patiently for that to open. Great. Uh, next, of course, we build our lesson here. So I'm doing a lesson on the first three letters of the alphabet. Of course, they're usually much more complex. So let's imagine that we've set up all the visual data we need for our lesson. Uh, then, of course, we've got to add the oral component, which is just uh, accessed by, by, by turning on this this device here which is your smart recorder. Now you're going to need to click on that. If that's not there, then you're going to need to go to view. This is a colleague discovered the other day. You go to view, toolbar options, customize, and you should be able to find the smart recorder just there and you'd, you'd click on that and drag it up there. Okay, then you'd go done. Okay, good. So we should just be able to click on the smart recorder over here and start recording the screen and whatever we say. Okay, that means it's a screencast. So let's just click on that. Okay, it hasn't started yet. It's just getting ready to start. We've actually got to click on this red button here. And make sure, see, don't be tricked by this thing. I was tricked the other day. Make sure, just investigate this little arrow here and this triangular upside down triangle. If you click on that, it'll show you what, what you're using to record your voice. Are you using a microphone? No. Is there no microphone? No. There is the built-in microphone. That's what we're using. So if you're just using uh, you, your built-in microphone in your laptop, make sure that's selected. So I'm selecting that. Great. Now we click on record. And then it says, click to record the full screen, drag to record part of the screen. Okay, well, let's do that. Click. And now we should actually be recording the full screen. Now, if you're a Windows user, uh, the current version of Windows actually has a pause facility. Blessed are you. You can now pause your recording uh, at any point and uh, think of something more uh, accurate or appropriate to say for the next stage of a lesson. However, if you're a Mac user, if you're just using the notebook software, you can't pause it, which is a real disadvantage, I feel. There are other options, and come and speak to me or email me if you're, if you're interested in exploring those. Um, so here we go. Here's our lesson. We can talk about that with the students. This is the letter A, students. You might want to pause me and practice that, students. Moving on, this is the letter B, students. You might want to pause me and practice that, students. Uh, you know what, students, uh, I actually would like to show you uh, the... the, the, the the letter capital B as well, so by all means you can add more things as you're filming, okay, that'll actually go onto the film. And here's the letter C, students, and uh, of course halfway through that I've realised that the page is a little less interesting than I'd like it to be, so perhaps I'd like to put a gradient fill on there as well, okay. You can, you can, what I'm doing is I'm showing you that you can actually, um, you can actually change and, and alter the visuals while you're recording, uh, uh, let, let's pretend I'm using a Mac. I could pause. I could do something like this if I was using a Mac. I mean, sorry, using a Windows with the pause function. Okay, you see how those capital C's just appeared there? That's because I paused, added them, and then unpaused. Now, you can do that with a, a Windows notebook, with the Windows notebook software, but currently not with the Mac uh, notebook software, which is a pity. There are other options, but... Okay, now, of course, we just want to stop that. So let's click on the stop button, which is just up here. Stop. And it's finished. That's great. And uh, we can just play that to check that it works. Let's play that. And now we should actually be recording the full screen. Now, if you're a Windows user, uh, the current version of Windows actually has a pause facility. Blessed are you. You can now pause your recording uh, at any point. And, uh, okay, we'll just think skip ahead. More uh, students moving on. Get to be so perhaps I'd like to put a great pause function. Okay, so that works. So let's just turn that off. Click. Okay, 
That works just fine. Uh, let's uh, save it. Okay, we want to save that because, of course, we're going to share it with our students later for the benefit of their learning. So just just make sure you click somewhere on the screen and make sure it says QuickTime Player up here because you have to you have to save it with the QuickTime Player because that's what you're using. So make sure it's, yeah, it says QuickTime Player up the top. Then go to File, Save, and you know how to save. Save it as whatever you like. Lesson one, and I'm just going to save it on the desktop for simplicity's sake. Save. Okay, that's done. Great. Look, thanks for watching. That was how to record using just your laptop and the notebook software. Uh, the next video is going to show you how to use the notebook software and the smart board. Okay, thanks for watching.